Welcome to the Four Pillars of Men's Health, a podcast of resources for restoring vigor and vitality, bringing you top influencers in the men's health arena, case studies of men who have succeeded and how they did it, and cutting edge teaching on men's health issues from America's leading men's health guru, Dave Scadam. Get ready to take steps towards good health. Here's your host, Dave Scadam. Hey, welcome back to the Four Pillars of Men's Health. Thanks for joining me today. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I get so excited about these podcasts, but I'm really excited about this one today because I'm going to be talking about kind of a realization that I came to about food a few years ago. And um, and I, I, think, I, I think I came to the conclusion that <clears throat> it's more important what you eat than what you don't eat or what is available to eat and what you should eat instead of always saying to yourself, nah, I can't, I can't have that. I can't have that. But it's important for us to find ways to find good food that we like and that is good for us. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. So thanks for joining us. And uh, I just... It's, it's, Fasten your seatbelts up because this is going to be a fast-moving program, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. But it's also going to just be a lot of information, and and I'm going to have a bunch of notes, show notes, and uh, you can refer to that. But if you really want to take a deep dive into all of this that I'm going to be talking about, I have a whole chapter in my book on what we're going to be talking about today, and it's it's a much more thorough uh, dive into foods we can eat and that we should be eating every day and the value that they give to us and how you can, and how you can put them into our, into our bodies. So one of the things that I, I remember I grew up in this little rural school called Rosedale and it was a two room schoolhouse. So we had first through fourth grade in one room and then we had fifth through eighth grade in the other room. And uh, the, our first through fourth grade teacher was bit, very strict, and she didn't put up with any guff, and we we had to really toe the line. And it was kind of like, you know, you know, you got to just really hammering it, get this stuff done, memorize this, take that test, whatever. And it was we. I remember the year that I moved from the fourth grade into the fifth grade, and the teaching style of those two teachers was dramatically different. And I, I think it was probably somewhat because of the age of the group, but also just the, the, the personality differences. But the thing that I remember most it, when I switched to that new class, I went, went from the lower grades to the upper grades, we'd call them. And <laughs> moving into fifth grade, into the upper grades, man, I was like big time. And, uh, but one of the things I remember about that teacher, that new teacher, was that instead of being, Dave, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that, it was like this, she opened this whole world up to me and of uh, possibilities and ideas and things that we could think about and try and new thing, new ways of doing things. And, and, um, it was such a, like a relief and a, such a, an amazing transition for me thinking back over the years and just thinking about the difference between those two classes. And I think I drawn some, some similarities to food that we eat. And, you know, there's so many things that you can't eat. You can't eat donuts. You can't eat processed foods. You can't eat sugary stuff. You can't do this and you can't eat that and you can't. And all, all the, you know, all those things are true. You should stay away from those things because, because it's actually poison to your body. But, but I think that's just a little bit of a backwards look at the truth of what's out there. And there are so many types of foods out there that are good for you and that you should be eating, that you should be focused on. And that's what we're going to be talking about today and trying try to change that mindset around to what are the things that we can do, eat, and, and how can we do that and, and put that into our life? And, uh, and then also, what, why even mess with that? Why get, just eat better food? And I'm going to be talking about all that in just a few minutes. But I'm going to, I, 
uh, quite a few years ago, I went through a, a training class on nutrition through uh, Dr. Furman's group. And I highly encourage you to get Dr. Furman's stuff. And one of the things that I stole from him is this whole idea of what I call a G-bombs diet. And uh, now when I say G-bombs diet, it, it stands for greens, beans, onions, and garlic, um, mushrooms, berries, and seeds and nuts. That's G-bombs. So... Those are the those are the foods that I'm going to really focus on today, and uh, I, what I really like you to do is get those into your diet on a daily basis. And uh, but what I'm not saying is that's the only thing that you should eat. But these are things that are really good for you, and and they do amazing things when you put them in your body, and it goes into your down your throat into your digestive system. And your body just takes that stuff and it just, there's some amazing things that happen with these good foods. And that's what I'd like to talk with you about today. So stay tuned, check this out. And if you, I'm going to go fast with this stuff and I know that, but all this stuff is going to be in the notes. You can also get my book on Amazon. It's really cheap. Just go grab that. And all these things that we talk about on these podcasts are in there in a, in a deeper way. So let's talk about these and how I get them in my diet and how you can get them in your diet and why you should even think about these things. But I, you should remember that acronym, G-bombs. You should drop a G-bomb every day in your diet. And again, it's still, let me just refresh. It stands for greens, G-bomb, G, greens, berries, onions and garlics. That's two together. Uh, mushrooms, berries. And the S stands for seeds and nuts is the last one. And these are things that you really need to get in your diet on a daily basis in addition to what you're, what you're eating. And, and I, I think that this could be your, the first step towards getting some really good nutrition going in, in your own life and, and not even having to worry about cutting out that other stuff and saying, no, I can't have this. No, I can't have that. Let's leave that alone for a little bit. And let's focus on figuring out a way to get these G-bombs <clears throat> into your diet. And so that's what we're going to focus on today. So let's just take a look at the first one, greens. When I say that, I, you know, I mean kale, uh, um, collards. I mean, anything that leafy green types of vegetables. And I'll tell you, this is, this is on top because it's one of the most nutritious foods that you can eat is greens, kales, kale and lettuce, especially. Just get that stuff in your diet. You should get, and I'm not talking about like a couple leaves of lettuce on a hamburger. I'm talking about like a mound of greens that you put into your body. And, and you know, the thing about greens is you don't have to worry about the high calories, like if you took a, a pile of greens here and a pile of sugary food over here, you'd be looking at probably 2,000 calories in the sugary thing. And over here, the same pile would be less than 100 calories. And, and it's just amazing what this stuff does for you. Here's a few things. Greens, they lower cholesterol. And there's properties in these greens that will take your cholesterol down. They preserve your vision. Um, there are, there are a, lot, a lot of greens are high in creatinoids and lutein, and, 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 they, and that's what really helps uh, get your eyesight, keep your eyesight in good health. Um, it also helps, it's, it's got full of carbohydrates, and we'll talk about carbs and proteins and fats in another thing, but, but uh, car carbs are important, and, it, and this is a good way to get some good carbs. So it helps fill your fuel your body with carbs. It helps boost your bone health because it has a lot of calcium in it. And uh, when you eat those greens, you get that you get a, just a jolt of calories. It also there's some properties in greens, and you can learn, learn more about this through the internet or where we get my book. But um, it has some properties in it that helps fight and prevent colon cancer. There's studies that prove this, and so. It's so important to get greens into your diet. And here's a couple ways that I do that. 
is I, I would, I usually, uh, not every day, but typically on a, on a normal day, I do what I call, I create a G bomb salad and it has all of these things and it has greens, beans, onions and garlic, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. It's all in this salad. And I usually have that for one, uh, one of my meals a day. And I've, I've checked it out. If you, uh, that, that's a pretty big salad. And it ha- it's, it's around 400 calories, but it's just packed with this salad, such amazing nutrition. And, uh, and so that's some, maybe something you can do. Another thing you can do is just when you're, when you're ordering, uh, at a restaurant, you can say, Hey, g- uh, can you double up on the green? We order salad instead of fries and double up on the greens. And, um, and they'll, they'll do that for you. They'll happy to do that for you. So make sure you're getting greens in your diet. Now let's take a look, turn the page here and let's take a look at beans. And I think beans are another, I'm going to, I'm going to say this over and over again in this show, but this is one of the best foods you can eat. <laughs> I mean, greens and beans, so get these things in your diet. And, um, you can, you, there's so many ways to get beans in your diet, but, but here's, here's some, here's some amazing things about beans. Um, they, they, one thing is they help fight heart disease. They have this property in them. Uh, I think a chemical called, uh, phytochemicals and it helps your heart, uh, be healthier. They fight cancer. They, uh, lower cholesterol because Beans have a soluble fiber in them, and it uh, it really helps lower cholesterol. And it also helps you lose weight because when you eat beans, uh, it's rich in fiber, and it helps you, it satiates your appetite. It makes you feel full, so it helps you lose weight. And another great thing about beans is it they're low on the glycemic index, so if you struggle with diabetes, beans are, are a good choice for you. You know, you need to, you need to verify that in, with your own studies and your own programs. But, but beans are low on the glycemic index and it'll help you manage diabetes taken in the right way. So those are the things that are so powerful about beans. Now, how do you get beans in your diet? So when I go to the salad, to a salad bar and make my salad at home, I have a, a like a, a can of black beans or kidney beans or garbanzo beans, and I dump those right in my salad. And so every day I get those right in my salad. But some other ways to do that is uh, another kind of a favorite recipe of mine that I'm really liking these days is a, I call it my Mexicali dinner. And what I do is I, get, I buy a head of lettuce. And so there's my greens. I slice a slice off of that about an a half inch or three quarters of an inch thick off the head of lettuce. I put it on a plate, chop it up, and then I put I pour on some beans, I pour on some rice, I pour on some guacamole and some uh, salsa. And man, I, I'm just loving that right now. So that's a good way of getting some beans into your diet. There's bean burgers. There's all kinds of ways that you can get beans, but you should try and get beans in your diet every day along with the greens. So G-bombs, we got greens, beans. Next one is onions and garlic. And these are very powerful, uh, nutritious food. And it's important to get these things in your diet. So, um, Here's a couple things that greens or uh, onions and garlic do for your body. They fight can- prostate cancer. They detox your body. They, to- de- take, they take the toxins out. And it also helps you lower your cholesterol. So onions and garlic, a critical part to your diet. And again, here, I, you know, this, I, I use this. I, I grab onions and throw it in my salad. But you can throw it on a hamburger. You can put... Um, uh, garlic in your as you're cooking, and uh, all kinds of different ways to use onions and garlic in your diet. Now the next one is mushrooms. So we got let's let's review here. We got um, greens, beans, onions. The next one is mushrooms. M for mushrooms. Now this is you have to take a little bit of care here because there's such a broad spectrum of mushrooms. And uh, there's some that are really super good for you and some that are not so good for you. And you really need to do some research in this area 
and figure out which ones are the best ones for you. But if you get the right mushrooms in your diet, they're just as powerful. And here, here's another little caveat with mushrooms. You should, they should be lightly cooked, either steamed or roasted. And uh, there, there, there is some studies that show that mushrooms have some cancer, raw mushrooms have some cancer causing properties. So um, do some research on this one. Make sure it's right for you. But, but if you can get these dialed in and get the right ones and prepared the right way, mushrooms are so powerful. Number one, they're packed with vitamin D. And it was one of the fewer foods that have vitamin D in there. And vitamin D is so good for you. And it, it boosts, and another thing it does is it boosts your, it boosts your immune system. Um, and it has antiviral and uh, other types of proteins in them. And uh, they're just so good. And, and they're, it also uh, helps you with your antioxidants. Kicks up your metabolism. It's loaded with vitamin D as well, which helps turn the carbohydrates that you eat, ingest in your body, into glucose that your body uses to burn energy. So you can it boost your uh, metabolism. And it's really good for your bladder as well. It's got selenium in it. And uh, it's really good for your bladder. And so, um, but just take, you know, some caution there. Make sure it's right for you. Make sure mushrooms and are a good fit for you. Yeah, but find the right ones and they're so powerful for you. So the next one is berries. B, second B. Berries are so good. And I, I just, it's one of my favorite foods. So I just have no problems with it. Like strawberries, blueberries. And by the way, that, that's like a, that's like a mega kick of good health. If you combine, like make a smoothie with strawberries and blueberries, throw in a banana, oh man, that is like, that is like magic to your body. You drink that stuff and it goes into your digestive system and your, and your digestion digests that stuff, sends it out into your bloodstream, goes all crazy in your body and does all kinds of things like combating aging. It, uh, it, it helps, uh, reverse damage toxins and and free radicals so berries are so powerful it boosts your brain there's studies that show that um, it reduces cognitive decline and it helps with memory and motor function so amazing stuff another thing it fights cancer because it's got antioxidants in it and also you might not know this but but berries are strong and high in fiber so you get all the benefits of a high fiber diet when you eat berries and it's so important. And uh, it also promotes heart health and uh, benefits your skin and helps with weight loss. So make sure you're getting berries in there. Pop in some blueberries, raspberries, blueberries, uh, all the different kinds of berries. They're all, they're all good for you. So make sure you grab those and put them in your diet. So we've talked about greens. Beans, onions, garlic, mushrooms, and we talked about berries. Now let's talk about seeds and nuts. Now this is a little bit more controversial, but, but I'm telling you, if you, you, you can't sit down and chug three pounds of pistachio nuts in a session, okay? You can't, you, you gotta use this in moderation. But when seeds and nuts are eaten in moderation, there's some powerful stuff that happens in your body. It improves your immunity. It promotes good digestion because they're strong in fiber. Uh, it protects your heart because it's high. Uh, nuts and seeds are high in omega threes. Uh, it's good. Got some good minerals that help support bone strength and teeth strength. It prevents uh, chronic disease, lowers diabetes, reduces inflammation. Every day, get some nuts and seeds in your diet. And, uh, these things, these things will just make you m so much more stronger and so much more, your body so much more disease resistant and, um, and energetic and all, all these different things. So these are the things that you need to get in your diet. And I would encourage you when you, before you eat these, eat these foods is to just, uh, change your mindset a little bit and focus on 
before you, right before you start eating, focus on something that you're thankful for. Be thankful before you eat. And there's something about that that changes your brain a little bit, which also affects your digestion. And so when you start a meal in an attitude of Thanksgiving, it, it, it helps with it helps with everything. It helps with digestion. It helps with slowing yourself down so you're not like just woofing it down. And um, so that's another thing. Just before you when you load this G bond salad up, like I know you're gonna do now, and put the greens on there, put the beans on there, onions and garlic on there, mushrooms berries and seeds and nuts and then just pause for a second and be thankful before you put that stuff in your mouth and it's going to make a big difference for you and and then just as you're eating that stuff chew it up good and just let that stuff go in your down your throat into your stomach and uh it'll just work magic in your life so these are the things, if you want to get stronger in your body, if you want to have a stronger immune system, if you want to fight your heart, heart disease and cancer, if you want to get lower your diabetes, get these things in your diet today. Start on this today and get all of these key ingredients into your, into your system. And it's going to make a huge difference. And again, I, I think this is just a good place to start but it is a starting place. At some point, you are going to have to say, no, I'm not going to be eating that sugar stuff anymore. I'm not going to be eating that processed food. I'm not going to be eating all this stuff that's causing cancer, that's causing muscle weakness, that's causing your bones to break down and causing all kinds of other problems. At some point, you're going to need to say no to that garbage. But today... You can say yes to this and drop a G-bomb today and tomorrow, the rest of this week, the rest of this month, and the rest of this year. It's going to make a huge difference in your life. You've been listening to The Four Pillars of Men's Health with Dave Scadam. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit the 4 